action. <laughs> Hello, my loves. How are you? <laughs> I'm feeling very giddy today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi Desaluvold. Today's episode is kind of interesting because I didn't plan to film this episode. I really wanted to do it just for the gram. But my husband put up all of the lights, he's got the set ready, and he was like, Fumi, why don't you do a full episode for your wonderful YouTubers? And I thought to myself, why not? So I've already done my uh, foundation, I've set it, I've done my contour, I've done my brows, I've popped in my contacts, and we are ready to go. This is going to be a non-talk through. I don't know, maybe I will talk, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, guys. But uh, yeah, so let us get started. And what I'm gonna do is that I am going to use my Jumbo NYX pencil, and this is black bean, black, and I'm just going to grease this all over my eye, okay? So how are you, my loves? How's everything going? The look that we're doing today is a smoky eye. Smoky eye with a twist, because it's not the traditional jet black smoky eye. I am going to highlight the lid with like a gray. Yes, darlings. It's nice, it's a great option to just having the smoky eye, yeah? It looks a mess, who cares, it doesn't matter. We're just going to blend that out. So let me take any brush that's in front of me. Ah, Juvia's, all right. And I'm just going to just, you know, blot that out. Like so. Then I'm going to take the Saharan palette and I am going to take this color right here. It's like a sandy brown, fabulous. And I'm just going to put this right on top over there. Yeah, that's my transition. Let me just take some setting powder and put underneath my eyes so that I don't mess up my beautiful foundation. And I can take this off later. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go real high. So I'm just going to take it up there. Yep, and just punch it in. And then just kind of blend that out. So I'm going to go in into the same palette with this kind of rose goldish metallic and I'm going to put this up onto my brow bone. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Alrighty, I'm loving what I'm seeing. So we're going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into my Saharan palette volume one. I'm going to go into charge. As you can see, I've hit pan. When I tell you for a deep skin sister, hand on my heart, I have never seen another palette give me the dark, deep richness as this chart. There's no other black for me that works. And so here we go in with a lovely Morphe brush and this is the M14 and we're going to circle this black ever so gently above the crease line, in the crease line and the outer V and that is it. There we go. So you just punch it in like I did with the other colors and you go around the eye in a sense and out like so, yeah? We're going to blend but first I want to put it exactly where I want it and I'll blend out from there. I love a gorgeous smoky eye. For me, it lasts all day because it's dark. You know, it just kind of works. And we're just going to blend. Don't You don't have to put any more product onto your brush. And you just draw the dark shadow halfway across your eye, not all the way into the eye. That's the trick, darlings. Because if you bring it all the way in, then it gives you that panda punchy effect. <laughs> And we're not of the violent nature. <laughs> so, you know, we want it to look nice and smoky and yummy, okay? The festival palette again from Juvia's Place. Let me put it this way. There you go. Let me open it. This color here, Keleke, it's a lovely, yummy, cool black. Yes, charcoal, actually. Love this color so very much. Wowee. So we're gonna take a flat brush. This is a MAC 127, I've had it forever. The number has fallen off, but I can make out the number because of the indentation. And I'm just going to put this color in the ball of my eye, right there. And just pat. 
can you see gives it a slight definition not much but it looks gorge and that is it basically so we're going to sweep off the excess right here you can see the fallout yeah very tricky this one that's it I'm going to take a black pencil love this and this is the Gigi Hadid Maybelline uh, gel eyeliner 06 it's a lovely yummy black here we go and you want it to be black you want it to give it that effect do you see and you can wear the top lid as well now do you see that transition color that I used earlier on? We're going to use a bullet brush and we're going to go in and just trace that underneath the black just to give it that yummy smoky effect. And there you have it darlings, those are the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with a pair of Lily Galici lashes. These ones are called Mekinos, I love them. They're nice, thick and fluffy. I'm gonna put on mascara, my Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, okay? I feel so awake. For smoky eyes, you don't necessarily have to wear lashes, but when you want that extra drama and jage, absolutely darlings, this does work. Lily's good for that, she wears those fabulous lashes. All right, we're gonna stick in Beverly Hills and we're going with Anastasia. She sent me this blusher and I love it to death. I haven't worn it in a while and it just brings that extra luxe to this look. So I'm gonna start with a lighter one, this one right here, which is gonna do graze through it with my Morphe 509 brush. And I'm going to put it in the on the tips of my cheekbone, right there. Just warm it up a little bit. A lot of you ask me, where, where do I get my cheekbones from? These are from my paternal grandmother. She was very fabulous. She could have been a model in her day, and I got them from her. I consider them the money bones. <laughs> because these are what have kept me in the business for over 30 years. I started modeling when I was oh, 12. For the life of me, my family included, they never knew, I never knew that I would continue doing what I'm doing today in my 40s, no way. But I think that it's just the bones in my face. <laughs> they keep everything up. <laughs> This is such a lovely color. Love, 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 love. So this is Ambrisi's highlighter. Can you guys see? I love it. Look at the cover. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we're gonna go with the highlighter right there. I'm gonna put a little bit on. It's a gorgeous color. And I'm gonna put this just on top of, mm, that was what I was looking for. Dust off and just grease through. That's it. That was all I needed. Voila, loving this. We're going to go in with Juvia's Place Liquid Lipstick and this one is called D2 in a matte. Lovely peachy color, I think because I've got like this strong smoky eye, I want to tone it down. So we're gonna put in Fenty Beauty and this is the Gloss Balm, a little bit. I always do this when it comes to matte lipstick because my lips dry out and this kind of helps. Oh, I like this. So I'm just gonna touch up a little bit with my finger. Oh, this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I'm just going to rim my lips with the MAC pencil in a chestnut just to bring it in a little bit so it's not too overwhelming, yeah? Then I'm going to take my Kat Von D White Out Lipstick, love this. There you go. And it is pure white. And I'm gonna put this right in the center of my lip. Just give it a little pout. Beautiful, if you ask me, honey. All right, my Continuous Mist Setting Spray, the best setting spray for me right now. I'm just going to go over just to bring everything together, get rid of all of the dust and ashiness. If there is and there you have it guys a beautiful smoky eye with a gorgeous lip I like it you can wear it during the day and you can wear this in the evening all right darlings Ula say goodbye 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 my darlings I will see you again very soon I love you take care do not forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can have Fumski twice a week in your life